Good day everyone, we are the group that will represent the artwork of two artists which is The Last Supper. These two artists are Leonardo da Vinci and Jacopo Tintoretto. One of da Vinci's famous artwork is Mona Lisa, while Tintoretto's famous artwork is The Miracle of the Slave. So both of them made a Last Supper painting. Now we will see what are the differences that can be seen in their artworks. But before that, let us know what is The Last Supper. So quite simple. The Last Supper sends us the Eucharist. This is the sacrament that Roman Catholics celebrate daily and by obligation on Sundays. The sacrament that transforms simple bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. One point perspective was used by the Vinci, which includes all the lines converging in one position, known as the vanishing point in the painting. This technique has been used to highlight the substantial significance and central position of Christ. There are so many controversies surrounding Da Vinci's Last Supper. Some of those are why Da Vinci Last Supper different from others, because unlike the other artists, Da Vinci didn't put halos on Jesus Christ. And also, many people argue if is there a woman in Da Vinci's Last Supper. Over the years, some allege that the figures to Jesus right is actually Mary Magdalene. For any out artwork, Having the lighting right is crucial. Da Vinci's mastery of light for the Last Supper is one of the things that makes his Last Supper painting special. As we all know, Tantoretto's painting of the Last Supper was considered an, as an example of mannerism style. What does it make and what does it work as a mannerism? It's because it works with an open display of imbalance, composition, unusual complexities, and ambiguous space. As you can see at um, Tantoretto's painting of the Last Supper, um, it is a kind of like a dim and like a dark kind of style. But then it is shown that there was two lights being seen. And um, Jesus is being identified above and beyond the converging perspective lines that um, raised diagonally away from the picture surface so according to what i've seen on internet and it um having some research about this painting it is said that the image in tentoretto's last supper is much different many figures are shown in this painting besides jesus and the disciples there are servants servers angels and animals also, the scene shown in the painting is different. The disciples are still in the midst of their meals, having no idea of what is it to come later that night. This image is much more complex than Leonardo's painting. Also, there's, there's much more movement and energy. Comparing the way each artist depicted the Last Supper shows the major differences between Leonardo's and Tentoretto's Last Supper. So Da Vinci's painting was done in High Renaissance style, while Tentoretto's painting was done in Mannerism style. Um, these two paintings were made out in different media and as well as how they actually wanted to give out the meaning of their painting as well. As you can see on the left side of the Venn diagram, these are the details of the Last Supper painting from Leonardo Da Vinci. Leonardo's Last Supper's layout is largely horizontal. The large table is seen in the foreground of the image with all of the figures behind it. Only Jesus and the disciples are shown. The scene shown is the moment just after Jesus says that one of his disciples will betray him. Leonardo painted in the High Renaissance style. He also used fresco seco in his painting. In the painting, we can see the different textures like the one of the table clocks. With a lot of shadows and sad colors like blue, white, and gray, the artist used the colors in a sad and dark way. The artist was trying to create an environment where you could sense Jesus' divinity in a very holy atmosphere. The shapes are used in this painting to create the feeling of space. The pieces of the building in the painting are used to render that, including the squares and rectangles. The lines were used in the back part of the painting to create space and the sensation of depth and to create scale. Next, 
The texture plays the role to decorate the clothes of the characters in the painting, using the illusion of texture, even on the walls and the tablecloth. Lastly, the light in the work is very few. It is more like a dark space with a lot of shadows and the dark value was also used by him. As you can see on the right side of the Venn diagram, it is with details on um, the Last Supper painting from Tentoretto. The only similar thing between the two paintings is that God and the disciples were conveyed on the same event and God is in the middle of the disciples. The last, after all, the Last Supper by Leonardo is very different to Tintoretto's representation of the same incident. The Last Supper is one of the most important occurrences which took the place to the Christian religion, such an important event that many have seen the need for the event visually recorded. Cure art, the two famous of these representations are by far Tintoretto's and Leonardo's work.